Happy, happy, everyone. This video is going to be uh, making a basic pipe. My past videos have uh, been all glazing, end product. This is one of the first pipes I've made on video. So you have to bear with me that I really didn't know what I was doing. I knew how to make a pipe, just didn't know about making the video part. So there will be some delays where I'm contemplating what I'm going to do next. But here I'm just rolling the, rolling the clay out. I'm going to use a, a wooden skewer dampened with some water to uh, make the stem of the pipe. Here comes the star of the show, the skewer. I do dip him in the water multiple times. I keep him wet. It opens up that stem hole. This is good practice for someday if I need to do a, a catheter, I suppose. I'll be good at it. I hope that day never comes. I'm just trying to center that skewer right now in the middle of the clay. Roll it out, center it. I'm always twisting the skewer also, uh, even though I just shoved it through without twisting it there, but I try to twist it, keep it broke away from the clay. When I pull the skewer out, before I put it back in, I always dip it in water. Trying to get little defects out of there. The more defects you can get out early, the less work you got cleaning the, the piece up later. Those bits of clay was sticking to the table. I run out of gas. Cut. Alright, I'm back. I kind of zoned out there for a second. Just trying to clean up the ends of this pipe. Keep the skewer uh, centered. Clean up the divots. Like I said, so uh, sanding at the end of the cleanup after it dries. The cleaner you can get it at the beginning, the easier it is to clean it up at the end. I dipped that skewer in water again, don't forget that. If you don't, it'll drag clay, clog up the tube. Trying to get the hills out of the stem. Getting close. See how that cleaned up right up. I was dipping that tool in water also. Makes the, the clay slide. At some point in this video, you're going to see me using some slip. All, all slip is is just clay uh, diluted in water. It's like a glue. Got the stem pretty much where I wanted, I believe. I'm going to get another piece of clay here to make the ball out of. I 
keep my uh, extra excess clay, extra clay off to the side with a paper towel over it so it don't dry out. I just took a ball, small ball, marble sized piece of clay, rounded it up, flattened it out. And this part coming up here is uh, in the ceramic world is a, a huge issue. Do you put slip before you slice or do you slice before you slip? I've seen, um, I've watched a few video channels where they're, they're saying you should uh, put the slip on before you slice it. I'm going to go on the ledge here and uh, I'm going to slice it before I slip it. Get my slicer tool. Slice that bad boy up. Slice that stem up. Next tool you'll see me use is just a cheap old paintbrush. I use the stem for poking the hole and uh, the brush end for slapping on a slip. Try to insert that in the stem and try to find that uh, uh, skewer. You, you'll feel it when you push down in there, you'll hit that skewer. If you don't hit the skewer, you're going to go through the table or you're going to, you're not going to have holes matching up. This is a nice little trick I uh, mm -hmm. discovered. I put a hole in the bowl in the middle. Now I'll slap on some slip. I don't think I'm using the technical words here for slicing and slapping, but it's something like that. Slip and slap, sl slip and slice, uh, score and s it's something on that order. Comment, comment if you know what it really is called. I know the concept. I put that paintbrush through that hole again and now watch this centers right up. It's a beautiful thing. Apply a little pressure and that bad boy glues right up. And then we'll clean it up a little bit, just save on future work. I'm just applying water now. There's no don't need to apply no more slip. I'm cleaning up the slip that squeezed out of there when I press them together. But you pretty much got a basic pipe right now. You're pretty much there. Just got to cut that bowl out. I call this a bowl cutting tool. I'm sure that's not the proper name of it, but works pretty good for cutting the bowl out. You just have to be careful you don't go down too through, too far. Too, oh, if you don't want to go too deep to where you hit that skewer, if you hit that skewer, you've went too deep. I'm getting there, you just want to be careful. Got another tool with a wooden handle, rounded wooden handle. I'll stretch that ball out a little bit, clean it up. After I do that, I guess, there's a rounded end. Dip that in some water. Almost round. It's 
pretty cleaned up now. Make sure that hole is clear down to the stem with my trusty paintbrush. Twist that skewer, twist it so it don't drag that any clay back with it. Dip it back in some water. Make sure that stem is still clear. Well, there you go. Peroni's pipe. Not too many people are going to understand that one, but I don't know if anybody wants to buy a Peroni's pipe. We're getting there now. Stems clear, bowls clear, bowls rounded out. We're just about done. Clean that bowl up a little bit. There you have it. Handmade. What I use, three tools, some slip. One of the tools is just a cheap paintbrush. Well, the skewer is a tool, maybe four. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you like the content, share it. Have a good evening, all.